Hello, and welcome to Not Your Mom's Review Show. I'm Cher. And I'm Nikki. We talk about movies, TV shows, and a bunch of other random shit. Most of the time, it's relevant. Sometimes, not so much. But it's always amusing. Enjoy! Enjoy! Oh gosh, I haven't seen it on your TV in such a long time. It's so nice. Hey, nachos. You're, hey, nachos. Your TV <laughs> is so nice. We're at my house today instead of Nikki's. Oh my god, she has such a good TV. It's really good TV. You it's should probably, like, you could probably just adjust your brightness settings. It's I usually don't know. You have that spiffy ass like what was it? The three D ish and something. What? Yeah. Four K. It's four K. No, not it makes it look like it makes it look like I remember when you first got it. I was like, everything looks like a soap opera. Oh, it's like, LED. There we go. Yeah, it's, there it's it is. LED. It's fancy. It's. I mean, we like our entertainment in this house. It's like, do when you go to my house, or you're like, oh, no. when you watch something, no, because I mean, I'm gonna go it. to my house and be like, oh, no, <laughs> when I turn my I TV don't. on. But to be fair, mostly what we watch are old movies, mm-hmm. and those don't look as good anyway. True. True. But any. Oh, oh no! What happened? Oh. Task view. My computer's on the fritz. Oh, oh there it is. Okay, let it's, me fine. See to Ooh, sky. it's fine. Computer's being stupid. It's a Never stupid dick. Breeze, okay. Sea. There we go. Um. So, are you caught up? I know we're here to watch um, the watch, mm-hmm. which is Outlander season one, episode thirteen. But have you caught up on season four? Yeah. Okay, I think I can sum up this latest episode in two words. Okay. A Roger sucks. Yeah. Fucking Roger. Yeah. I forgot how much I hated him. I liked him in Voyager and then never again after that. No, I like him. So, spoiler, I guess. I like him when he goes into the past. Like. Nope. nope. I don't I really... hate him even more then. Oh. Because he he was this mild mannered historian. And then when he goes into the past, he turns into this, like, testosterone fueled, like, traditional man man like yeah my woman's gonna obey me god damn it and oh he's no, always kind of had that air to him though Ugh. brianna deserves better <sighs> i have mixed feelings does about she? brianna but i was like does she when she slapped him though i was like more uh, yeah give me yeah. more of that he deserved that my god he deserved that oh i hate him so much yeah i i, I just uh, first of all First of all, we, we all know my problems I have with who they cast for Brie. Yep. She's short as fuck. Yeah, well, you're six foot, so everyone's yeah. short. Yeah, and then Roger just does not look at all No, I thought what I imagined. I imagined longer hair. I thought like, of him with sharper features. Yeah, but he's this guy seems so soft. Yeah. Like, I, I imagined more, I don't know, just not what they have. Yeah. I agree. Brianna and Roger. Like, everybody's been pretty decent, except for Brianna and Roger have really disappointed me. I mean, there's so much stuff that they're not going to be able to play off of because there's so much about her height. Yeah. And everything in the in the books, and there's going to be none of that because she's short. She's right. shorter than Claire. She's still going to be short for... I mean, she's still going to be tall for a woman in the past, but yeah, you're right. She's supposed to be, like, six feet. Like, because Jamie was, what, six three? Yeah. Something like that. And... Claire was supposed to be 5'10", and so she was supposed to come out like 6'3". I mean, I was... Granted, when I started reading these books, so I started reading in Voyager. That was the book I stole from my teacher. (laughs) So, like, I had Brie. I had, you know, and so I always was like, oh my gosh, there's this awesome... This character who's tall with curly hair, and I'm like, oh, it's me! Yeah, no, not me, but you know what I mean. Yeah. (laughs) But, like... Red hair... That just hurt. It just hurt my feelings. Yeah. I'm really, I'm really butthurt. I agree. And I was kind of disoriented, too, because they changed a lot of... I know they have to, but they changed a lot of Roger and Brianna's courtship. Like, they sped it up. Because it, in the book, it happened over, like, three Time. or four chapters. Like, yeah. all of those different things. And there was more... Um, there was more interaction between the two of them Mm -hmm. between when they got back together again or you know came face to face again I should say because they had been keeping up correspondence or whatever but then they came back face to face but it was a lengthier amount of time than just like a weekend yeah because they had been walking around and I think she had been in Scotland actually because well they were together a lot more when she was in Scotland too like there was the whole garage and the whole garage and stuff and that's all 
cut out. So it, it just in the show, it seems like there's like a mutual attraction that they can't deny kind of thing. Well, it, but it, it was much more built upon. Yeah, because it was jarring what he said to her. Because they've been on and off communicating with each other by letter mm-hmm. for two years. And then she shows up, and they spend a day together, and then he's mad because she won't marry him. So in yeah. the show, like, it seems really, like, forced. Yeah. Whereas in the books, it made a little bit more sense. Because yeah. they had been... I think they had been in closer communication. I mean, for him to be surprised that she said boyfriend at the gathering, and then him proposing mm-hmm. at the gathering. Like, you didn't even know you guys were fucking dating. Yeah. And now you want to propose marriage? Yeah. And then like, I felt butthurt about it when she yeah. And then, like, slut shame her. Mm-hmm. Ugh. It's the worst. She's like, I just want to get my fuck on. Like, I think Claire is the only person who doesn't look good in black. You know what I was thinking, too? Like, it's I wonder too how they have all of these knitted items on these women, and they don't look bulky. Like, I know she's not wearing anything knitted right here, but yeah. whenever she does have her little, like, pullover shawl thing, like, she doesn't yeah. look bulky in it. They're like, oh, look at this chunky shawl, or chunky cowl, and you're like, ooh, and you make it, and you're like, oh my god. <laughs> I look like, like Shrek. I can't see anywhere. It's like, you know when you're wearing a sweatshirt after you haven't yeah. worn a sweatshirt for a whole season? Uh-huh. And you're just like, why do I love these things so much? I don't remember. <laughs> like, I feel like I have biceps the size of Hercules or something. Yeah, black is not good on her. <sighs> that is weird, because it looks really good on Jenny. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. So there's a lot of tension going on right now, because if I recall correctly, where we left off, he had turned into a dick. Yeah. And um, he slut shamed Jenny, saying that, you know, she prostituted herself now since um, Lord Randall What's-His-Face had sullied her and she's like, who the fuck do you think you're talking to? It wasn't shaming. It was like rape shaming. Like, how dare you get raped? (laughs) How dare you? I wasn't worth it. She was like, like, they were gonna do it anyway. Oh. Oh. Interruption. Okay. Back again. I'm trying to remember what this guy's problem was. I cannot remember for life of me. I'm watching this. He doesn't know Jamie's Jamie. He knows him as McTavish. Yeah. Why? Uh, Is that the guy, if he knows he's related, something's going to go down or something? Were they in prison together? No. He knows Ian. He knows Ian. What lies did they tell? Oh, oh, they're trying to keep... Because he's still a fugitive. Oh. So they're trying to keep everybody from knowing that he's there because then um, he's going to get taken. Mm. But isn't this guy like his uncle or something or some shit? Wasn't no. it? No. I don't think so. Because they're not the Frasers. They're the something Frasers. The, aren't they? The distant Jesus, relative? I don't remember anything. Was his name either. McTavish? Well, no, that's Jamie. Jamie's McTavish. Jamie's McTavish. Okay, he knows But this guy, McTavish. who was this guy? Let me look it up. What's his name? I, I don't know. Name names! I guess look up Matt. What is it? The match? Or is he... Is he the bad father? No, the bad father is gone. Hmm. Damn. Outlander, the watch, bad guy. Oh, he just let all the hell burn. Yeah. What a douche monger. Yeah. Considering the whole place is covered in hay, like that's vicious. What the hell? Okay, um. Aaron McQuarrie. Um, oh, Jenny and Ian made an alliance with him while Jamie was gone. Mm. Uh, so they're insisting Jamie, Jenny, and Ian are saying that he's their cousin. Mm. Horrocks is the bad guy. That's his name. Mm. And he knows who Jamie is. So they don't want him to tell these fellas. I cannot remember. Uh, 
damn, I don't remember anything. I don't either. This is so... I remember he goes off with this dude and they go do something and they run into English. I remember that, but I don't... What is his malfunction? None of the... I don't remember any of this, Sherry. I don't remember it either. Is he... Is he one of, like, the, um... This is really great listening, I'm sure. Us going, yeah. duh. Is he a British sympathizer? That's what I'm wondering, is if he is trying to... No, because he... Don't they try to smuggle something, and they run into the British, and they kill him, and Jamie gets taken? Ja uh, Jamie and Ian end up killing him. I remember that part. Because he's going to rat them out. Uh, and Ian is really bothered by it, I think. Yeah, because he's been interacting with him. Yeah, and also he's not used to murdering. Mm. <laughs> and Jamie's like, uh. Yeah, it's kind of my life, so. But I think that's the hard part is that he likes him. Yeah. Or they could work together. Yeah. For something. I don't, I don't, I don't fucking remember. Don't remember. There's bad I guys really here. I don't remember. The dog. I love that dog. The big one that just went on the screen. This guy's the guy that knows. <laughs> Yeah. That guy knows. Uh -huh. That's the guy they killed. My bad. Him. Okay. I remember him dying. That's the only thing about this I remember. <laughs> Hope you haven't watched it. I have no idea what's going on. This is going to be a bad recording. Were they the ones... Okay, so... Taryn McQuarrie. Were they... Are they the ones that... Um, oh, God. What? Do you remember in one of the earlier episodes when they came upon a village or a like a small farmhouse and it was being burnt down and it's because they didn't pay their taxes. Uh huh. And I can't remember what those, the black guard I think is what they were called. The uh -huh. guys that went and tried to collect the taxes. Is that who he is? Like making know. sure that everything is legal? Like a, maybe not a mercenary, but like a, a he's hired, working for the yeah, English. That's what I'm thinking. Thing. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Traitor to the British. Yeah. Okay. That's him. I think that's what he is. Uh -huh. He's, he's, he's a, an enforcer essentially. For the British. Hmm. And Horrocks knows Jamie, but I cannot remember why they killed him now. I just remember that they killed him because he was going to... Maybe... I think he was going to sell them out. I was going to say, it sounds like he's the kind of guy that's going to whatever he can get yeah. a dollar off of. Yeah, I think that's what happens. I think we figured it out. Hi! <laughs> but he wishes he was drunk again. Mm. What a dick. Because that's what just happened, like, in the previous episode, is everybody came to pay their rents, right? Mm-hmm. And he was going easy on the people, and they were like, you can't do that, because yeah. we got bills to pay, too, yeah. you dick. We've got the big bills. Yeah. We've got the smaller bills. So like, you can't just come waltzing back in here yeah. and try to take over shit like you know we what's going on. We can't be everybody's on. friend. Yeah. But he was... Jamie's never been good. Unless someone is, like, threatening his life or someone he loves, he's never been good at being directly confrontational yeah. like it's always been like a game that he plays Ugh. he's so cute her skirt looks so warm all these clothes look really I warm know. and I'm saying that right now because it's finally cold in Georgia <laughs> I know I love watching I love watching Outlander when it's cold mm -hmm. like because then I'm like I want to crochet all of this like her boobs are probably cold though because they're kind of hanging out. Yeah. But just even, like, the, the way everything's, like, woven and everything, it just mm. looks like it'd be so fucking warm. I think, you know, they try to make everything as authentic as possible. If they can't find it, they'll make it. Yeah. And stuff. Which I appreciate. Yeah. It seems definitely. unnecessary, but I do appreciate it. It helps you fall into the world. Our hair is... Can you imagine trying to dry clothes in cold weather? No. Yeah. And everything like smelling like fire if you were like hanging it up by the fire to try to dry. What if it what if it catches on fire? I mean, and I think that's kind of like what you worry about your house at all times when Yeah, everything catching on fire. <laughs> Cuz like well like whenever you see these shows and stuff like that the fireplace doesn't have like the bricks and stuff like it's on the same level as like the rest of the floor. Yeah. And then they have like what do they call it? Thrushes or whatever everywhere which is just like hay. Yeah. Everywhere to absorb stuff and you're just like, "Oh, Oh no, she's in labor. The, Ooh. um... 
you're like, oh, I fell asleep studying and I knocked this candle over onto all this dry paper and I'm dead now. <laughs> right. Oh, no. Right. Is this where the baby is backward or um, feet first? Yeah, I think so. What are you doing in here? Why did you get that glass of all glasses? Because those are the only ones she can reach. <sighs> Stop being nosy. Go to sleep. I love you. What are you doing? I mean, don't go to sleep. Go, go, go to room. Are you taking your water? Yeah. She's going to hug you first. Aww. Oh no, Janie hugs. Mm. Oh, she just leaned her whole body into me. It feels so good. Okay, yeah, she's go. hamming it up so she can stay out here longer. I know. Now get your water. Go. This woman's about to have a baby. You don't want to see it. Trust me. No, I don't. Maybe she should. No. Get out. <laughs> it's not time yet. Love you. Love you. How many of us would be dead? Not you. No. Yeah, no. I popped that kid out. Judging from how my pregnancies went, um, even though my babies were enormous, I probably would have been fine. Yeah. Tired. Well, you, I think you were kind of, I think you were meant to be a breeder. I think so, too. Like, you and Phil would have had, like, a farm, yeah. and you would have had all the hands taken care of. Like, you wouldn't have had to hire anybody. We would have had enough kids to invent baseball. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. We would, yeah. 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 I got pregnant real easy. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so I don't know if it, because of situation, mm-hmm. I've only had one kid. I'm blaming him. I, what? I'm blaming him. I'm, I'm thinking, yeah. because my family doesn't have... Can you light my candle? No! Fine. Pause. It is height is a big deal. When you are a six foot tall woman, you see height and everything. I'm sure there's something about you physically that you see, like that stands out when you're reading descriptions about people or anything, or like whenever you're reading a book, you're like, it sounds like me because of this, and you like explain the situation. Like you always see yourself. Um. I don't come across it very often, but when I do read a book where the main character has freckles, I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Because you don't get it a lot. There's yeah. the word. That's my thing. Height is a thing that I always see because I'm so incredibly tall. For those just rejoining us in this jarring transition, I just had to go light a candle for my 10-year-old, and then we had another discussion before I hit play again. Now we're talking about how Jamie is perfect and how Nikki wasn't on the... F- she was on the fence about Claire in the first... in the beginning, but yeah. now she's okay with it. Well, because she was supposed to be shorter. She was supposed to be a little bit more plumpier. I don't she wasn't... No, she was supposed to be tall, too. She was supposed to be, like, 5'10", if I recall correctly, because she wasn't... She wasn't as tall as Jamie, but she was, like, towering over other women oh, and true. men... that's true. ...in the in the past. So she was supposed to be 5'10", and that way it makes sense for them to have a six-foot daughter. Yeah. Um, but she is supposed to be thick. Yeah, she's supposed to be thicker. But, I mean, that's that's a hard... Mm-hmm. I don't want to say a hard recipe. When you're when you're looking for an actor with a certain personality, you can portray something yeah. on top of everything. Yeah, that's it's, hard. It's it, hard. Yeah, but we had been talking previously about um, your husband's inability to impregnate you. So if you want to carry on with that, don't you love how she just, just sneaks that in? Yeah, she <laughs> just yeah. sneaks it in there. Yeah. I don't know. Pretty much everybody in my family has been fertile myrtles, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. I am not sure where fertility wise like no, how him. many kids I would have had it was him see even his sperm were mopey and but it gave us jopey I wish that I could get to that egg it deserves to be fertilized oh, oh my god Sherry oh. Sherry stop you can see it though right little sperm <laughs> just like not even moving just like oh. all sad Down and at depressed the bottom, at the bottom of the testicle just like no why isn't the egg moving towards me why do I have to yeah. go through this yeah. whole my whole life mm-hmm. I've always had to strive towards something it makes perfect sense mm. god damn it but anyway I don't even know why we were talking about fertility oh cause we were talking about how many of us would have died in childbirth oh, back yeah. in the day so my birth went, my birth, my son's birth. Oh, yeah, there you go. Your birthing of your son. My labor. Yeah, yeah. That works better. Was um, about four hours. Uh-huh. Yeah. Start to finish. Start to finish. Ask me how long my first child took, Jane. I mean, uh, yeah. My name's Nikki. My first child, Janie. <laughs> Ask me how, how long, long were you in labor? 33 and a half hours. <laughs> I know, because I was in the waiting room for a big chunk of it. Two and a half was pushing. I remember when... I'm sorry, we're not even talking about the show, but I remember, like, it was always understood. Like, as soon as Cher does anything, 
call me. Yeah. Like, blah, blah. Motherfucking Phil, uh-huh. like, calls me that afternoon. Well, it was a false oh, alarm. I mean, I mean, so, we we just came back from the hospital. The fuck? Yeah. Uh-huh. The, first of all, Cher was the first one having a baby out of all of that's us. True. So it was a big deal, yeah, okay? that's true. And I don't know how I was unclear <laughs> that I wanted to know as soon as something was fucking happening. Because I'm pretty sure I was like, hey, as soon as something fucking happens, let me know. Well, but I, I guess I was unclear. My labor pains woke me up about 4.45 in the morning. Should I have called you then? Yes, you should have texted me. You should have texted me. That looks... I want one of those gowns, Cher. Sure. So I waited until Phil woke up because I knew... From everything it looks I so comfortable. It does look really comfortable, God. but I bet when you sleep in it, it gets all tangled up around your body. I don't know. I'd probably just bring it up towards. Oh, look at her it's oh, silhouette. That was so beautiful. Yeah. But the um. Uh, but I I knew from everything I had read that you know especially the first child it takes a while and I was like really it wasn't in t- shut up just shut the <laughs> fuck up right now I don't want to hear anything else out of your face. But it wasn't feeling like really intense. Yeah. Um. And it wasn't, like, close to... I wasn't panicking, essentially. And so I just, like, oh, he's going to be up for a while. I should just let him sleep while he can. You are crazy. And then, um, because I needed him to have to manage all of his family, because I wasn't going to fucking mm. do it. So I was really thinking... True, sure. Better. He got up, he woke up at, like, at 8 or something, 8 or 9. We didn't have kids, so... <laughs> it was, like, whatever. But I think, like, around 8, I was like, okay, motherfucker, get up. Yeah. And so, um... He was like, well, what do you want to do? you want to go to the hospital? And I was like, I don't know. Are you supposed to? I mean, I guess we could go. Yeah. And we were both kind of like, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Like, I don't feel like this is one of those situations on TV where someone's water breaks. They're like, oh, my God. Yeah. The it's water not, hadn't broken. Yeah. Like, I, TV did not adequately oh. prepare me for this. It's so beautiful. Look at her little silhouette. It's all pregnant. I was bigger than that. You were so big. My belly was huge. You were so big. It was obscene. It was adorable. But, um, you were so front heavy. Yeah, so I went to the hospital. I think we got there like around 9 or 10. Or, I don't remember. It's all a blur. But um, they checked She's my so cervix funny. and they were like, oh, you're only one centimeter. So, you know, just come back if, if, when it, if your water breaks or if the pain gets so bad that you can't stand it anymore. And I was like, those are not specific instructions at all. I have a very high pain tolerance. Like, it's, except for like the water breaking. Like, I get that. Yeah. So, um, everybody came up that's at that point is when that seems like really bad advice because you honestly hear these stories about these women who are like i couldn't stand the pain and like what they explained was not even close to half the pain that you had yeah i don't know and they're like i don't know and i'm like it's all very yeah. subjective like it's yeah. impossible to feel what another person feels mm-hmm. so uh, there should be some kind of test like they stab you in the leg with a knife like okay on a scale of one to ten now we have a baseline for you <laughs> young frankenstein <laughs> yeah. yeah anyway so um so then when we got back home, that's when Phil called everybody, and then everybody came over and, like, cooked food and stuff, and I was just Pepper like, steak. Pepper steak, which I threw up later. <laughs> God. And a, a burn coming back up, let me tell you. Uh, but so everybody comes over and hangs out, and then everybody's, like, celebrating, like, oh, a baby's about to be born, and I'm like, I fucking hate all of you. <laughs> like, I'm out there hanging out, but, like, every so often I'm like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> No, she didn't make any of those noises. No, I didn't. None of them. <laughs> I didn't. I was, I'm a trooper. But, um, so finally, I just, I, it wasn't even that I felt like the pain was increasing so much, but I just didn't want to be around anybody anymore. Kind of like when a dog goes off to die somewhere. <laughs> wow, so, Cher. <laughs> so, okay. it was like that instinct, like, I don't want to be around yeah. people right now. So, like, I went and I curled up, um, inside. Everybody was outside. And then I went inside and curled up, like, on the living room. And I was just laying on my side, like trying to figure out if I needed to go to the hospital because I didn't know because you the instructions were, on that were unclear. White and blue checkered oh, that thing love was awful. seat that you had it here. Lasted for so yeah. long. But and then Nikki came and found me and she was like, mm, I think it's time to go back. And then they tried to send us home again. And I remember that. Phil was I like, no. In. He's like, well, hold no, on, we're let not me going interject. Home again. Like, <laughs> so I came in and like me and Wenny had done like the dishes and everything. Like that part was done. And then we that went back nice. outside. Hmm? Oh, that was nice of you. <laughs> And then we, uh, cause we were, we like totally mama bear. We're like, we're going to make everything so that when Cher comes home, it's going to be fine. Like everything's done. Like where's the vacuum? But like, and so then we went back outside and I'm like, where the fuck is Cher? And so I come in. And I, I have, I, I, let me turn, interject for a moment. Okay. I have, I am known for ghosting out of situations. Yeah. But usually when you're drunk, what Cher does, what she used to do, not so much anymore cause yeah. she never, she doesn't even get to that level, but Cher. Yeah. We would be socializing, like, drinking, taking shots, like, it was awesome, blah, blah, blah. poof, Cher's gone. <laughs> and I'm like, where's my female friend that I just made? Like, where did she go? 
And Phil's like, oh, she had to throw up. So she goes and throws up, and then she passes out. Like, yeah. she just leaves. And I'm well, like... I get to a certain point where I'm like, oh, I don't want to be awake anymore, but yeah, I'm and probably going to... And so I'm like, I'm going to go make myself throw up. Excuse me. And then I'm going to go lay down. Yeah, and I'm just like... <laughs> but I don't tell anybody. <laughs> but, so I'll just keep staying here. Okay, there went my friend. But anyway... <laughs> So Cher, like, I was like, where the fuck is Cher? Like, the whole reason we're all here yeah. is because, not because of Cher, because the baby inside her. Right, yeah. <laughs> so no, that's how it is. I know. I come around the corner, I just look, and Cher's, like, knuckles are white, holding on to the armrest <sighs> of the thing. You know, at that point, it's not even that it hurts so much, you're just fucking sick of it. Yeah, that. and, like, she's, like, holding on to it. It, it. it wasn't even like you were holding over it, it was this hand, like, because yeah. you were on your side. You're, like, holding, knuckles are white, eyes are closed, and I come and I crouch down, I'm like do we need to go to the hospital? <laughs> and, like, she's, like, just nods her head, like, eyes tight shut, just, like, <laughs> yeah. And I'm, like, okay. And so I, like, walk away slowly, and then I run around the corner. I'm, like, Phil! <laughs> gotta go now! <laughs> and he was just, like, what? And I was, like, she's got, she's, like, in the room, like, holding on. Like, yeah, you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just, it was one of those moments, because I remember, like, the couch was right here, you had that table with the sewing machine on yeah, top of it, yeah. like, I remember, like... this room's fucking weird, it was hard to arrange it. Yeah, because so that was the living room yeah, at the so time, this was, yeah. At that point, it was about 12 hours <laughs> <laughs> you had been in labor. And uh, we still had so much farther to go. Oh my god. Gosh, she was born, um, it was like 10 in the morning. I slept in the waiting room. This is the this is my funny part of the story. I had to sleep on my back because I was so so when I get nervous I get gassy. Like mm-hmm. every time I go on a plane I get gassy. Well, everybody gets gassy because the pressure change. So that's not just that's okay. Not cool. Just that makes me feel better. Like <laughs> but whenever like, like a situation arises, mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, of course. Let's make this even more awkward and make me be gassy with whale song mm-hmm. in my stomach. Yeah. So like we're all in the waiting room and it's like all of Phil's family, all of Cher's family. My dad. <laughs> like well, and the the, the <laughs> my- wife at the time. Ugh. <laughs> and everything, oh, like, she's dead now. All these people, which I didn't even know your dad very well at this point. Mm. So, like, I mean, at this point, I'd be like, hey, pop a smiley and rip one. But <laughs> then it was like, still trying to make an impression. <laughs> He'd probably rip one white back. I know. <laughs> but, like, so, like, it was just like, okay, I have to lay on my back because that way if I have to fart, like, at least it'll, like, go into the floor or something. I don't know if I felt like that was the... Or well, it would stop it. If your butt cheeks are on the ground, like, you're, they're more compressed. But, no, but my ass is so huge. When I lay on my back, it's like, here's my butt, and then I have, like, the arch. <laughs> and then my back. It was the most uncomfortable I've ever been in my entire life. And then I had to call work and be like, hey, like, you guys know Cher is, like, my sister, right? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, she's in labor. I'm not coming into work today. <laughs> and they're like, okay, we understand. <laughs> like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah. See y'all. Enjoy that. Bye. Sure needs me. Yeah, sure needs me. <laughs> but you didn't. Because <laughs> no, I needed you. I needed you specifically. And Phil. I remember, like, everybody ran to go see the baby in the, um... In their nursery. In their nursery. And, of course, baby, Janie. Of course, like, I sneak a peek at Janie, and then I'm like, okay, cool. And I beeline it, because I knew yeah. you by yourself. And I turn the corner, and Cher is laying in this bed, like, just kind of, like, her head off to the side... Like, staring into the abyss. Like, her eyes weren't even closed. She was just, like, staring <laughs> into the abyss. And I'm like, hey. I might have been dead. Everyone evacuated. No one was with me. No one would know. The same thing happened to me. God. They're like, it was just like, all there was like all these people in the room, and then suddenly there was no one. Yeah. And it was literally a nurse walked in. She's like, oh, you're still here? And I'm like, where am I going to go, bitch? I can't feel anything from my waist down. Where am I going to go? Am I going to drag myself? Like, hey. I remember. And then, like, Joe came in, and he was, I was like, where's Jorge? And he's like, oh, he's out with Dad or something like that. And I'm like, okay, get me a Chick-fil-A sandwich. Chick-fil-A is going to close soon. Yeah. <laughs> get me a Chick-fil-A sandwich. He's like, oh, oh, God, oh okay. I was really hungry. I was so hungry, and I knew I wasn't going to get any food. And so I was like, I had Jopi at like 9.25. Yeah. And so they were, or 9.20. At night. <laughs> at night. After going into labor. Phil was working, and I had to stay home with my kids. So literally, I had Jorge texting. <sighs> it was on my old orange phone. I had Jorge texting. So Jorge texted Cher. On my phone and was like, hey, she's in labor. And she's like, oh, shit. Like, Phil already went to work. Like, the kids are in bed. I'll come by in the morning. Like, it it'll be fine. It was just the one at that time. And the, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And then, um, like, two hours later, he's like, 
she had the baby and Cher's text back was like in all caps like what the fuck <laughs> like in all caps first of all you didn't wait for me secondly how <laughs> dare you have such a fast labor he literally shot at me like Burns told me Bur- so me and Cher had the same um, gynecologist yup and he has given birth to like how many kids in the family oh at least I would say at least seven by this point. And you know, even though he wasn't Melanie's doctor, he gave birth to um, Killian. He he delivered him? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> God, gave, I've had a couple of beers. Oh, <laughs> he <really>? delivered me. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, because when I, I like walked into the hospital, because I remember I was kid-free at the time. Uh-huh. So she said she'd gone to labor. I'm like, oh, well, I'll just fucking go down to the hospital. So I went down there, and I walked in um, on the, what is it, third floor, right? Yep, third floor. I walked in, because fourth floor is where... The offices are. Yeah, so yeah, it's third practices. floor. Third floor is the delivery. So I walked in, and I'm like walking down the hall, and he just like, he likes, and he was walking towards me. I was like, hey, and he's like looking at me like, what are you doing here? I want to be like, hey, are you busy? Like, can you check out my badge? Like, <laughs> <laughs> held myself back, and I was like, hey, and I was like, oh, you might actually, you know, my friend Melanie is in labor right now, and I'm like, I'm guessing you're the doctor on duty tonight. He's like, yeah, and I'm like, oh well, you'll be bringing another one in. Yeah. Is he what, what Lathan? Yeah, right. first it was Janie, because he was, I, I was, again, the first one, I'm like the matriarch of all the babies. Right. <laughs> I was the first one to have a baby. And so, no, well, there, Horrocks is dead. Okay. Bye. Bye. And, um, so I had, I had he actually. He looked relieved for a second there. Yeah, I did. When I was. Oh, but he's shaking. Yeah, he's not cool. He's got some PTSD there. Yeah. Ooh, the, Ooh, blood's, the blood's spreading. spreading. He's staring, he's fixating. So I, I oh, got yeah, pregnant and. It wasn't... I, I was 25, so it was fine. But we hadn't planned on having a kid at yeah. that point because I still had, like, another semester or two of college. Um, but it was fine. And so... But I didn't know... I had no idea. Like, I hadn't gotten a gynecologist since um, I'd been kicked out of off TRICARE. You know, yeah. when my parents moved. Cause I, I always I went was, to the clinic. Well, I was yeah. an uninsured college student. So yeah. I think I had gone to the clinic, the uh, Planned Parenthood, like, once or twice. But everything was just so awful in there that I was like... Mm, yeah. I'm not going to come back unless I need See, to. See, I went to the health department. Like, that's where I went. No, that's where I went. You're right. That's yeah. right. But everybody was, like, really unfriendly, and everything looked like it oh, had Oh, because you went on Mulaney? Yeah. No, I went... Yeah, I went... Yeah, that was They bad. built a new one out in my neck of the woods, and that it was, was nice. Was but everybody was still mean. <laughs> yeah. They were all bitches. But I knew but. I didn't want to have that experience if I didn't have to. Yeah. And so I got on um, Medicaid. I had been working since I was 18, so I felt like I could go ahead and get on Medicaid. Yeah. <clears throat> and, um... Because I, I was an uninsured college student. I had no other options. And so um, I asked one of my classmates that had a kid already and had been here for a while. I was like, well, what doctor did you use? And so she was like, oh, well, I had this doctor for a miscarriage and also for the birth of my child. And he was just amazing through both of those. And I was like, well, that sounds good to me. Yeah. And so their Burns came into my life, Dr. Burns. So I went to him, and then um, my sister-in-law had her son, so that was Janie and Lathan, and then um, their cousin, my husband and his sister's cousin, has had two kids with him. That's Kelsey? Yeah, so that's yeah. four children, and then I had little Phil somewhere in there, so that's five, and then if he delivered Melanie's kid, that's six, and then I feel like Chubby. yours is seven, so yeah, seven. So then also my um, coworker came and talked to me and she had, she had done in vitro or whatever, uh-huh. like she had a fertility doctor, but then once, you know, once you become pregnant with the baby, then it's like, oh, well now we need to okay. pass you on to blah, 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 burns. Oh. And then, um, another coworker, um, from admissions, she was like, she stopped in her truck. She's like, Hey, by the way. I heard, I don't know what kind of rumor mill we have at my work, but I guess we all know who's gynecologist Nikki's is. It's Burns. But she was like, I heard that you had Dr. Burns and I just recently got pregnant. And I'm going to that. And I was like, oh, he's been in everyone's vagina. I don't think she expected that. Yeah, well, that's what she's going to get. (laughs) Because she just stopped and looked. It was Jamie. Jamie, um, Oh, okay. Okay. So she was like, she was was like, "Uh oh. (laughs) And I was like, no, you don't understand. He's been my best friend. Yeah. (laughs) I'm like, I'm like, he's delivered all that. and I was like you know what all of the all of the nurses do nothing but sing praises and yeah. if a nurse yeah. sings praises of a doctor then yeah. I'm on board he's he's been extremely consistent like he's never been 
he's never been anything but supportive and mm-hmm. informative. Like, he doesn't try to push me towards a certain thing. He doesn't talk down to me. He, he doesn't will condescend. sit down and talk to me. I've never <laughs> felt rushed with him yeah. in any way, shape, or form. He will sit and talk to you and tell you everything that you ask him and then some. Yeah, like, I, he's been great. He's, he's my favorite. We, did, we threw him for a loop one time because I don't tell him that I refer everybody to him. Like, I just, it doesn't come up. I'm not yeah. like, oh, by the way. Like, that's stupid. Yeah. Plus, a pregnancy happens and ends like before like my next appointment with him so well he's such a good guy that i remember when i called because you had told me about him when i called and said hey you know i want to see dr burns because i had gone there before and seen some other doctor i didn't really feel comfortable with her Mm -hmm. but she looked like my sister i think that's Mm -hmm. what it was it just weirded me out but and i had never gone to a male doctor but Cher had recommended him and so i was like okay well i love janie so like whatever and so um they were like oh he's not taking any new patients but let's, you know, ask him. And when they called me back, they said that since he saw that I was a Medicaid mm. person, he took me on. Yeah, he's because amazing. Because he's such a good person. He's a good person. Yeah. But we threw him for a loop because, like I said, I don't tell him when I... I, I don't think he knows that we're all related. Like, yeah. Like, you know. <clears throat> but um, I think you had mentioned it to him a time or two that, like, you knew me. But he has so many patients. Like, I doubt, yeah. like, if he's not in front of you, like, he's probably not thinking about who you are. And so... Yeah. When you had your tubes tied, I was yeah. your I was your responsible adult. Yeah. And so like he walked into the room and he saw you there on the bed and then he saw me and he like kinda looked back and forth for a second. He, <laughs> he was, was like so confused. Oh, I was like, oh, remember all those times oh. I talked about Sherry? Because <laughs> like I said, when I tell him something I'll be like I'll say Sherry because yeah. I'm sure that's what yeah. he knows you through. And he's just like, oh, okay, well, I was like, well, you know, Sherry goes to YouTube. Well, I remember told him that one day. I was like, yeah, Sherry booked an appointment earlier today <laughs> and literally said that I was getting sloppy seconds. And he was just, like, looking away, like, he has such a dry sense of humor, and I'm just, like, out here, he like, looks, all the time. He looks like a 50-year-old schoolboy, if I, that helps. He's my favorite, though. Like, he's my... Even though he has a dry sense of humor, and sometimes I'm like, oh, God, did I offend him? Like, then he comes back yeah. up with, like, a smile. I'm like, okay, well, I'm good. now, as, a, as what happens with all of our um, interactions, like, now when I go to my appointments with him, my yearly appointments, he asks me about you <laughs> because of all this trauma you've had in your life. I, and yeah, now he knows guy. we're best friends, and he's like, so how's Nikki doing? Is she doing okay? And I'm You're like, like yeah. I am my own person. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I got some of my favorite internet friends, though, because I went through... For some reason, I was looking at an internet... I think it was after you and my brother were talking on Facebook, uh-huh. and you told him to stop saying boobs. <laughs> No, no, it's because I added Kristen, your cousin. Oh, that's right. Okay, I so... I had your brother added, like... I went through Facebook, and I was like, Nikki has, like, all of my family on here that she's never met. <laughs> all of Phil's family. All of Phil's family. She's got, like, half of my friends on here that she's never met. Like, that... Bitch is taking everybody. I'm gonna go take some of her fucking friends. And so then I went through her friends list and I just randomly added some people that I had seen pop up often that I knew yeah. that you talked to a lot and that seemed cool. And so like I added like six people. Just and then I was like, oh, what am I doing? I'm an introvert. Ooh, that's too many. That's, that's too, too many. It's too many. And they all Hold accepted. On, let me take that, that one back. Like, oh no! But then it's it turned out well. Yeah, it turned out well. I like them. My petty revenge friending worked out for the best. I was like, it. I'm like, okay, cool, more people. You're like, no. This is a movement. It's like, I need you to feel afraid right now. I'm like, why? You're just, no, Nikki. God wrong. damn it. God damn it, Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> like, when we had that, what did we, okay, so, we're not even talking about this episode. So, There's share. There's nothing happening. Let's talk about ourselves. They're just staring at each other. Look at that. Ian and Jane. We don't even know what's happening in this episode. We're completely lost. So, um, share. Asked me what my ring size was. Oh, yeah. Right? And so I was like, holy shit, everyone. It's about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's time she's going to propose. Because <laughs> I would be the one to do it. Because <laughs> you're the man. Yeah. Yeah. I might have the height and build, but you're the man. I am. That's true. So, okay. That was a really sexy way to eat bread. Anyway. So. Mm. Hey. Hey. So. He gets um, it. Look at him. <laughs> I put up on Facebook. I'm like. I'm like, you guys, you guys, share us for my ring size. It's finally going to happen with like the little ring emoji and yeah. the hearts in the background. And so people are cracking up. So then one my of response mutual... was like, whoa, whoa, calm down. Because <laughs> I just asked for her ring size. Like she made all the rest of it up in her head. <laughs> and so, of course, we have this meme back, not meme, um, gif back and forth. Like where my forth. favorite one is where like, um, oh God, Sam and... 
Sam and Dean. Dean. <laughs> like, Sam's chasing Dean. Like, let me love you! <laughs> yeah, because I had posted, like, Ralph on the bus. Like, I'm in danger! <laughs> But then, so one of the mutual friends, Nicole, is like, hey, you guys, blah, 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 is 50% off for your future nuptials if you need to send out announcements. Oh, it was stationary, yeah. Stationary. It was wedding, wedding stationary. And, but I had called I it like, off. But she point. called it off! Because it had escalated from let me love you. <laughs> and I ended up calling it off. And so Nikki's like, she called it off! And I was like, she's the most irrational person to argue with Articles like I give it three hours. Yeah. <laughs> they totally, they totally get us. We're good. You know what this means? We're gonna have to do like, uh, we're gonna have to do some kind of a um, when your gift actually arrives. Uh huh. We're gonna have to do some kind of a photo shoot. You know, you're gonna have to plan it because you know we just talked about. Remember earlier we were talking about proposals. No, but I think that's the like I'll propose to you in private, but then you as the woman have to make it a big fucking deal. <laughs> <laughs> me as the woman. Yeah. I'm so out of character for me. Hold yeah. on. Let me find. And so you have to let be me like, find my boobs. We're going to have an engagement photo shoot. Oh my God. <gasps> oh my God. Sure. <laughs> oh my God. You just said engagement. We need an apple orchard. <laughs> oh, but we're not in New Hampshire. All of my dreams of our future as lesbians are in New Hampshire. There is this poet. I can't think of her name off the top of my head. She has this wonderful poem where she talks about, like, polo shirts tucked in. She's talking about this guy who said that she was too much. Okay. And she's like, okay, well, enjoy your Wednesdays. Enjoy <laughs> your polo shirt tucked in. She's like, you know, I'll get your wedding announcement where you take pictures in an apple orchard. Mm. <laughs> like, just pretty much all this basic shit she lists it is amazing. Yeah. When I find it, I will tell you so you can tag it onto the... Yeah. It's so good. It is so good. We're going to have to do something insanely stereotypical. <laughs> like, there might be something with you, like, with wafty clothes underwater. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to end up spending way too much money on this. Like, we got a professional, professional photographer. <laughs> Don't we know some people? We got to know some people. I have people. to know some, Does anybody want to offer up their... their... Free photography, because it's for a joke. <laughs> But it'll still show your skills. Yeah. Like, if you can make this joke look good, I mean, you can do anything. Do we have to have a fake wedding, too? (laughs) No, we have to have a real wedding, bitch. Oh, no. Oh, no. We still have to take that trip to San Francisco like we've been talking about. yeah. That's where we have to do it. I can't wait to see you in your tux. (laughs) Oh, yeah. What if I get the tux t-shirt? Because you know I like t-shirts. There you go. I get some black jeans and make it look classy. (laughs) Because... I'll grow a mullet. Because black jeans are the definition of classy. (laughs) Shit. Actually, I feel like black jeans are the worst jeans. (laughs) Don't you? They're the worst. They're the worst. Stonewash. Stonewash was the worst, I think. Oh, yeah. No, because acid wash. Stonewash. Acid wash were fine, but yeah, the stonewashed were like the the mom jeans even yeah. like if you look back at like 902 and 0 they wear those and they look like fucking mom jeans yeah yeah even at that time oh god yeah. oh god we have so much to plan look at his hair he looks really good right here oh out in the rain he's got a little bit of a flush in his cheeks Can you imagine what he smells like horse and horse rain and, and wet wool and rainy hair oh my god it's like you know you're like you're like you smell it and you're like your brain is like this should stink but it doesn't because he looks like he smells like wet garbage yeah that's for sure <laughs> the other guy is who yeah. i'm talking about what is that oh oh hey you want that anyway uh we were just talking about so much to plan. Earlier. Okay, oh, I no. have to. Oh, okay, no. No, oh, no, this is gonna be. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh yeah, it's gonna be exactly what you don't want it to be. No. <laughs> you Are there did gonna be a lot of yourself? people I don't know. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be, like, a chalkboard you know somewhere what? with some chalkboard. I'm right. coming from a good place here, because this ring was not supposed to be a gesture at all. It was just supposed to be a way for Nikki to be safe from predatory workmen that would come to her house, okay? But Cher did not want me to wear my old wedding ring. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, God, there was so much neck movement. So I was going to get her a ring oh, that was God. actually beautiful like her soul. Oh, aww. 
uh, I wish I could show it to you, but I don't oh want to ruin the surprise because I've can, done that. We'll put that as one of the quotes. Okay. On our photo shoot. <laughs> There's going to be some pretty juicy ones, Ben, because I will get so sarcastic. <laughs> But I just, because she's had someone come and do her tub to <sighs> read porcelain it, and he was fine until, like, what, like, no, two months later? Can we, can we just, okay, can we back up, okay? Right. I am not. I'm going to get more beers. The, ew. Can I have more beers? I said beers. Oh, I thought you said beer. I'm going to get more beers for me. Oh, and me? I guess. <sighs> okay, so here's the thing. I'm not trying to say that I'm ugly, okay? What I'm trying to say is that I am a unique interest. Does that work? You're not going to mama bear me? What? I said, okay, I'm not saying that I'm ugly. Okay. I'm saying that I'm a unique interest. You're super tall. And big. So tall. And really big. I'm, I'm not the kind of girl that gets hit on everywhere I go. Okay? Just gas stations so. and Walmart. <sighs> and gas stations. So, when I do get hit on, it is by small, <laughs> old, uh. toothless men. Mm. Like, if I had, you know, like, a want for those things, I'd be awesome. But I'm, I'm not at no. all in want of those things. So, the guy who came and did my tubs... Like, a few months later, because he had told me when he was doing... Because I like, you're doing my tubs. Like, you're doing manual labor. Like, yeah. I made coffee. You uh-huh. know, I told him, like, if he needed this and this and this, here's the stuff in the fridge. Like, leave, come back. He's like, everything's done. I'm like, awesome, cool beans. Thank you so much. Shake hands. He's like, oh, I do stuff on the side. Like, if you need any other kind of handyman stuff, just let me know. Here's my number. I'm like, cool beans. Awesome. Thank you so much. So then, like, months later, he adds me on Facebook. And he sends me a message, and he's like... You're about to get ambushed. I was ambushed, too. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so he sends me a message. He's like, oh, I think I did some tub work for you. And I was like, yeah, that's why I thought you added me. Like, I, I was... I had like, absolute, is that not why you added me? I had me? absolutely <laughs> no idea. And then he's like, oh, well, are you are you still single? Uh, and I was, was like... He? He must have been 50-something. That's too old for you, Nikki. And I was like, are you fucking serious? It's not too like, old for somebody else, but it's too old for you. Uncomfortable. <clears throat> uncomfortable. Like, I was like, oh, um, I am, but I'm not really looking. Yeah. Um, you know, thank you. So he keeps trying to talk to me. Ugh. Like, good morning, beautiful, Ugh. blah, blah, blah. That's and I was the like, worst one. So I had to drop him off. Get some imagination, please. Then my neighbor was having some people over doing yard work for him i asked them hey if you know i do that like give you some um money can they do stuff for me i was grilling he's like hey if you give me some of that food i'll do this i'm like cool gave him food then he started hitting on me and i was furious because these are people at my house yeah they know where i live like it's uncomfortable baby she's so exhausted i remember that feeling yeah I also remember that awesome feeling when the baby came out. You could breathe again. Oh my god! Like, and you didn't I felt, realize you couldn't breathe before. I don't know if it's the same, you know, because you know, Jopi came out so fast. Oh my god! <gasps> it literally like he came out, and I was just like, oh my god! Like it was like the hugest shit I've ever taken yeah. out of my vagina. I guess. And then that first pee afterwards. Oh. I mean, aside from the pain, but oh, oh, I know you had pain. Oh my god! Yeah, mine burned really, really bad. But I, I had a labia tear. Well, they had, they told me, <clears throat> they put this, they wanted to make sure I wasn't bleeding too much. I don't know. They did everything differently between the two pregnancies, but <clears throat> with the first one, they told me they wanted to measure how much I was peeing or something like that. Uh-huh. I don't know. There was this thing that they had over the toilet. Um, it didn't completely cover it, but like I could aim over it, you yeah. know, like I could have positioned myself so I was peeing into it. Um, and uh, there was still some space around the toilet. Yeah. So uh, I did that. They wanted to measure how much I was peeing, I guess, to make sure it was a normal amount. I don't yeah. know. Maybe because your baby was so big. <clears throat> and so, oh, of course, like, baby. it's full of blood because that's what you do after you have a baby is yeah. like, all the blood comes so out of you. So much blood. And, um, so, like, 
at one point Phil was like, oh, I gotta pee. And I was like, uh, uh, um. Go pee in the shower. No, I was like, just, um, d- there's, don't be alarmed because there's a lot of blood in there, but I think it's probably fine because they yeah. haven't said I'm dying. And he was just like, uh, uh, okay. So he like, he goes in there and he's like, oh, oh. Because it was, it yeah, was I could full see of it. blood. It didn't even look like piss. It looked like blood. I remember the first time I peed, there was like a chick in there and she was like kneeling down because she was explaining like, which I don't know. For some reason, it comforted me. Like here I am in this hospital, and she's like, "Oh, we're gonna put witch hazel on the stuff." And I was like, "Yeah, of all the things." Yeah, like, that's what they gave me too. Is those witch hazel pads? Yeah, she gave me a thing, and I had to spray. I had to squirt oh, the witch like pre moistened pads. No, I had to squirt the witch, witch hazel on there. See, but it's I was like, like different every fucking time. Yeah, I don't know if they go through different. I don't, I don't know. know, but it was just like. You know, she because she was explaining everything to me, and I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna go." And she's like, "Okay, go pee and blah blah." I was like, "Ha, ah, ah. ha!" <laughs> she's like, "What's wrong?" I'm like, "I'm like, oh, okay, stop." No, it was burning. It was very much burning. And she's like, "Oh," she's like, "Is this the first time you go pee?" And I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "Uh, ah. <laughs> what else?" Yeah, you're probably fine. <laughs> yeah. You feel like you're gonna pass out now? Okay, you're oh, fine. I was like, "Oh god!" And then the whole like them wanting you to poop, and I'm like. Yeah. No, they did that to me the first time. I was like, first of all, I don't do well pooping anywhere else but my house. Yeah. This was a different time. Yeah. (laughs) I was 25. (laughs) But, I mean, now, I mean, I have to find a single occupancy bathroom, but I will poop anywhere. But, um, so, I think I ended up telling them that. I was like, I have a shy colon. Yeah. But the second time with little Phil, which was only a year after you had given birth, not even, like, nine months after you had given birth, like, they told me I had just had to fart. And they would let me go. Oh, God. Remember when I told you the lady didn't warn me about... So she comes in. She's like, okay, I just need to check your uh, nethers yeah. for right blah, after. blah, So she checks, like, my bum. She checks all, you know, my vag. And then I roll over on my back. And she's like, okay. And she just starts pushing on my yeah. stomach. And I'm like... <gasps> like Janie got she, rolled out of me like a tube of toothpaste. Like no one she, told me that was going to happen. She didn't tell me yeah. she was going to be pushing on it. She's like... And I was like, I'm sorry. Why were you p- pushing... On that, and she was like, "Oh, that's to get the con- the to get your uterus to start contracting." Yeah. So and I'm like, "Oh, yeah, they did that." Um, Janie was having the hardest time coming oh. out. Um, she wasn't breech, but they didn't realize they couldn't. I was. I, I can't explain to you how massive I was. I looked like I should have been having twins. Just imagine a beach ball with like I feel like it was a, a blanket over it, and that would be sharing a was, dress. It was just like it, it was, was so big. big. And so, but they didn't realize that she was face up and babies are supposed to be face down and head down. So she was head down, but she was face up. And I guess that makes it more difficult. Yeah. And so, um, he had at one point, like her heart rate was dropping because I've been in labor for a really long time. And so they put the oxygen mask on me and they were like, okay, we've got to get this kid out. Like if we don't do it in the next however many minutes, you're gonna have to have a C-section. I was like, fuck that. Yeah. And, um, not because they're bad. I just, I really didn't want to be cut if I didn't have okay, to. Okay, the videos they show you, like, at first you're like, oh, a C-section would be easier, blah, blah, Okay, go watch a video of how they cut through your fucking muscle. Well, I... And, no. No, well, they take all your guts out and they lay yeah. them on the table so they can yeah. get the baby. But there's that. Yeah. I don't really want my guts out if yeah. I don't have to. Yeah. But also, like, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm for women choosing whatever they want to, but at the same time, like, I don't particularly agree with the women that elect to have c-sections so that they can salvage their badge yeah when what happens is you get the scar tissue on your lower abdomen and it's all swollen when it starts healing and it heals funky like it doesn't heal like a normal cut because everything is disproportionate when it starts healing and stuff i didn't want any of that superficial fine and so that's you know what that's actually what usually motivates me (laughs) because there was um I had surgery on a cyst on my back one time, and uh, they had given me a spinal block for it, and I was having a hard time feeling again, which yeah. is terrifying for an 18-year-old, by the way. Yeah, I bet. But um, they told me, I, I couldn't pee, and so they told me the last time, because they were about to close up the clinic, but they were like, okay, if you can't pee this time, we're going to have to catheterize you, and I was like, let me try again. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, yeah. I peed. so I was like, okay. And so then, like, he put the forceps in, which is an exquisite type of pain, Um, also, if you don't know this, you can get to the point with, um, epidurals where it doesn't do anything anymore. Because I had, they gave me the IV epidural, they changed my bag, 
they changed it again, and then they were like, we could change it again, but it's not going to help you at all. Because yeah. every time I've been successively shorter, and so, like, I felt everything. Like, it was nice because in the middle of my labor, my 33-hour labor, like, I got some relief. But by the end of it, like, I just, it was all there. <clears throat> and so, um, uh, the forceps went in. Uh. That didn't feel good. But they left, like, marks on her face because oh. he thought that she was face down, but really she was face up. So oh. where he placed them, it wasn't you know where they were supposed to be yeah and so he had the forceps and then this nurse came in just walked in didn't tell anybody what she was doing i fu- i understand it like everybody has to do what they have to do like i don't resent anything i'm not saying that i wish it had gone differently because they're they're for a specific purpose but but she's so you know the mound of the belly starts just under your boobs so she's up there and she takes her forearm and she's pushing down as hard as she can towards my vagina she's trying to push the baby out manually with her forearm while he's got forceps in my vagina and i'm just like it's so much at one time but her pushing on me honestly was the most painful part of the whole process like that was the most pain i think of and that's at the point where phil started to freak out a little bit (laughs) well yeah he's i remember him saying because he's never heard you scream (laughs) no he hasn't like especially in pain like (laughs) yeah i remember him saying like he got this far off look and he's like because he was saying something i think when uh when i was pregnant and they were talking like the guys were talking about like blah blah blah, and i guess um, but i remember phil's face he's like looking off and he was like hearing you know, your woman, like, <laughs> yeah. screaming in pain and there's nothing that you can do about it. No. Like, he's like, it's the worst yeah. thing. He's like, especially Cher. Like, Cher never, <laughs> no. like, any kind of pain, anything. And just, just to hear her screaming in pain, he's like, I was... It made him freak out because yeah. he's never experienced anything like that before. And also, like, it, it went to... It went from... I think what helped him freak out, too, was the fact that it went from... from three people to about six yeah. in the span of about two seconds because yeah. they needed her and they needed like two additional nurses for whatever yeah. i think because the baby was about to come out so they had like the uh the dadal nurses in there to yeah. do the um take the baby yeah and, like, there was extra nurses because they had to do because <clears throat> i had whatever in my um, oh the meconium yeah i had that stuff so they as the soon poop. as they took him yeah they had to take him and clean him like she yeah. had to clean out instantly like his his that nasal sounds right for your son Right? <laughs> like, right, totally. You couldn't wait, like, yeah, he two hours? Yeah, couldn't. No, no. <laughs> I'm like, it was a fast labor, dude. Like, you weren't going to be yeah. like, you know, okay, whatever. That's funny that he realized that, you know, I don't scream in pain often because when I broke my toe, he didn't fucking believe me. That was after. Uh-huh. That was after. I wasn't even screaming that. Maybe that's, I should have been screaming. Because, like, I broke my fucking toe, and yeah. then I was like, I think I just broke my fucking toe. And he's like, yeah, whatever, And then I put, my, I put my foot down, and I couldn't put weight on my toe, and I was <clears> like, that probably means that my bone is broken. And so mm. then I was like, oh, because it was, like, zinging. It was, yeah. like, that electrical feeling. And so I was like, ugh. Okay, so, like, I came over, and I sat on the couch. I think we were trying to get something done that day, too, which also yeah. doesn't help, because I didn't want to do it. He knew I didn't want to do it, but I'm not the kind of person to malinger, so. Yeah, right. I, like, laid on the uh, love seat, and I had, like, my foot up, and I, I waited for him to come through, and I was like, hey, I was like, um, I think I just broke my toe, and he was like, no, you didn't, whatever, <laughs> and, like, he walked out, and I was like, you son of a bitch, <laughs> so I called his sister, I remember you told and I was like, I was like, hey, I was like, I think I just broke my toe, <coughs> but your brother doesn't believe me, because he's a dick, <laughs> I was like, but I can't walk on it. And she was like, okay, well, then you broke your toe. Yeah. And I was like, will you come take me to the urgent care? <laughs> and she was like, okay. <laughs> that is crazy. That is hilarious. <laughs> that I remember, so what I learned in my labor is that when I'm in pain, I don't, which you would think that I would most definitely be loud and boisterous. No, and, I would think that you yeah. would fall asleep. <laughs> Well, I was, what I was going to say is like, what Cher has <laughs> learned is that when I'm actually extremely fucking nervous and stuff like that i i get quiet mm. which is very unlike me she tries to find a way to go to sleep don't be fooled <laughs> it's not trying to find a that just happens like the drowsiness just happens because i'm a fainting goat <laughs> but like but i just get, i get quiet so like when i was in labor as soon as like i'd be talking i'd be like jabbering on and on be like oh i don't know blah, blah, blah. and then i would just go quiet yeah and in my head i'm like fuck 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 but on the outside i'm just like like biting my lips and they're like breathe through it and I'm like but I don't make a noise near the end when my epidural finally came in there was one contraction where I was like 
Oh my god. And that's it. That's the only noise I made. But again, I was only in labor for four hours. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> it probably would have gotten worse later on, but... Well, this, I feel kind of... Like, I, I wanted to have natural childbirths with both kids, but, like, the first one, I felt like I was kind of pushed into the epidural. Yeah. Burns wasn't there yet, because it was, like, you know, the middle of the night before I finally got the epidural. He already gone home for the day, so... They were trying to give me Pitocin. Yeah, well, they gave... No, they didn't. They gave me Pitocin because I wouldn't fucking... My diaphragm... Yeah. My, my whole body was just like, nope, mm-mm, nope, no, no, not gonna do it. So they gave me Pitocin. This is ours. We made it. We're keeping yeah, it. Yeah, I was in active labor. I mean, not, I don't know what active labor means medically, but I was in labor. Like, clearly, like, they could monitor the contractions and stuff. My diaphragm... Diaphragm? Cervix wasn't yeah. dilating. So they gave me, like, two rounds of Pitocin. And finally, like at a point later than it should have kicked yeah. in. Like, it finally started dilating, and I was like, ah, I guess all of me is stubborn. I don't You're know what to so tell you. You're so stubborn. And so, Your vagina is so stubborn. So that whole experience, like, I was glad I had the epidural because 33 hours would have exhausted me, and yeah. I don't know what would have happened, you know, with all the... I probably would have ended up having a C-section at that point. <clears throat> but with little Phil, <clears throat> the second time, I was anticipating another super long labor, and so by the time I got to the point where I was like, I don't know, maybe I should get an epidural... They were like, well, it's now or never. And I was like, fine, okay. So, like, I got the epidural. And then I had him, like, two hours later. And I was like, if I knew it was just going to be that amount of time, like, I could have been, I would have been, I would have been fine. Like, I would have been able to, to handle that. Well, I I felt like such a wish getting an epidural. Like, I wanted to do the natural, but I was like, okay, I know me in pain. Like, let's go ahead and fucking do the epidural because the contractions fucking hurt. Like, oh my God, this hurts. They do hurt. But then my labor was so quick. Like, I was like, okay, if I have another kid, I'm going to go. Yeah. All natural, like I'm talking about pool in the house, like well, yeah, but now my tubes are tied, so. Well, I thought <laughs> I'll never that. Experience it. <clears throat> I thought that too, that because I I was induced with little Phil because. You were huge. I was, Janie was when she was born. She was eight pounds, fourteen ounces, so I knew that it was likely that little Phil was going to be big as well. Yeah. And I went like three pay, three days past my due date. Yeah. And Dr. Burns was like, um. We probably need to induce you, and like I think when they had that, whenever they measure you, it's it's bullshit because they measured him and he was. They were saying that he was probably going to be around eight pounds, but I was like, please, please don't let it go too long. He ended up being nine pounds and six ounces. Oh my god! But um, but yeah, I told myself if we did end up having another kid, like I would just go through it because obviously, but and I thought too because they said, everybody said. If you have Pitocin to induce your labor, it hurts more, mm-hmm. like way more. And I was like, I don't, I didn't get that. I watched this, I watched this documentary about house, uh, how, not housewives. Midwives. Uh, midwives. Wow. Housewives. But about midwives and they were talking about, um, tearing and they said only most women who go with a midwife and don't have to go to the hospital because midwives, they'll go up to a point if uh, it gets too complicated, yeah. they're going to take you to the hospital. They take care of you. They're not going to yeah. like yeah. be like, no, we can do this. They're going to take care of you. They'll take you to the hospital if it gets too But they were like, it's probably about like 99% of the women don't tear because yeah. they don't. She's like, if you go and you look at the hospital charts of any woman that goes into the hospital, it's Pitocin, Pitocin, Pitocin. They're trying to speed it up. They're trying to get you out. Yeah, to that's blah. true. And she's like, so when you speed it, your body doesn't have time. Yeah. It, when usually, she's like, most women, when you have a natural birth, you don't tear. Yeah. Because you're going through the natural process. Your body has given the time to stretch, to adjust, and they don't tear. I and feel I was like, like I shit. would have anyway, just because mine were so fucking And huge. I was like, well, if that's the case, like, what happened to... Because I ripped in two places, because I didn't just rip in that one where you always rip. Yeah. But I had a labia tear, too. Like, he had to stitch up on my labia, too. It might have been um, the same reason. It was very fast. Yeah, well, that's what... Yeah. Uh, he. There's a name for it, but he literally... I was a rocket. <laughs> like, no, I, don't I, was like actual, I was a cannon. I don't mean him actually coming out of you, but, like, they're saying, like, your body has time to yeah. adjust. Like, if you went in four hours, like, yeah. your body didn't have time to, to, adjust. to adjust. And that's... My thing is, like, I was a fucking cannon and he was a cannonball. Like, he literally shot out of me. Like, insane. Like, couldn't believe it. I was kind of in euphoria because I just felt like everything that was holding up, yeah. like, just like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm. But, yeah. So that was our talk about pregnancy. And our um, labors. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. I mean, she had a baby in the show, so yeah. it's kind of topical, whatever. 
we're still going to attach it to the show. Yeah, like, she right. had a baby. Yeah. Just know that we did not have any idea what was going on in that episode. I don't remember who those people were. I don't even remember what the point of it was. I mean, I know that the setup was for him to get captured. Mm-hmm. So, it, that happened. I have to pee. Me too. Bye! Bye! <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to leave us a review so that other cool people like you can find us and laugh at us. I mean with us. Okay, maybe at us. Visit our website, notyourmomshow.com, and click the contact link to connect with us on social media or leave us a message. We love hearing from y'all. Bye. Bye.